Hi, this is Ghost217, and welcome back. Today we are mixing up with a bit of Battlefield 3. Uh, I think it's a 55 and 16 with the M240B heavy machine gun. And this is one game where you never really suffer for using the heavy machine guns. You do have a little bit less sprint, but you do just make up it in firepower. Because you don't rush all the time in this game, it doesn't really matter that you, you, you're running a bit slower as it was. As there are vehicles, you can always hop on a little car and drive around if you're getting too like, slow, stuck behind everyone. But yes, um, I am changing up with a bit of Battlefield for a couple of reasons. Firstly is, um, I love Battlefield, and I I hope that you guys too as well. Um, it's not the most fun thing to watch on YouTube. I do all agree, Call of Duty is a lot more fast-paced, which is why I have cut down pretty much all of my deaths and all the sort of boring parts of the game. You'll notice I do cut out the end of the game, which, um, although we did win, I didn't do particularly well in the last stage. Um, as we were playing Rush, there's three different bomb sites that you have to blow up. The first two I did quite well at. The third one, I just died quite a lot to snipers, and I didn't think you wanted to just watch me die ten, ten times in a row, so I um, cut that bit out and uh, just left it as we won. I hope you guys don't mind. I'm not quite sure what the sort of dictum on Battlefield 3 is. What you upload, what whether you upload the whole game. If I uploaded the whole game with everything, um, I did cut out. Uh, I tried it. I cut out all the deaths and everything, and it still came to about uh, 15 minutes long, which I didn't really want to do a 15 minute commentary. So I, I just went to the point of just cutting down a lot of it. And hopefully this is the sort of uh, style that you would expect from watching Battlefield. But uh, please let me know. I'm not quite sure how uh, what the dictum is on that. Um, other than that, um, I also am running a little bit low on Call of Duty gameplays. I think I have like six left, so uh, unfortunately I, after those six are gone, I'm not going to have any more Call of Duty till September. As I did manage to get hold of the uh, Infinity part of uh, BT the other day, and it took a very long time to do so, but they have informed me that although the Exchange is being upgraded in uh, towards the end of June, the outlying areas which we are in uh, won't be upgraded for another couple of years, which means uh, no broadband here. Uh, though what I am going to do is try and get our um, current satellite connection upgraded to an unlimited data plan, which means I should be able to upload from home and uh, then for, therefore be able to upload a bit more often than once a week. Um, but uh, th with the upload in mind, uh, I'm not quite sure what to upload. Um, I could upload a bit more Battlefield 3. I've got a huge abundance of it. I've probably got about 15 gameplays or so of this. Um, and then other than that, I haven't got sort of anything particularly special. Um, what I was thinking was I could do um, some like zombie style spec ops um, sort of take a stupid weapon or a knife or a pistol and just see how many rounds I can get through just using that. I don't know whether you guys would be interested in seeing that or just try and get as high as round as possible. Um, please let me know in that respect. Um, I would say zombies but so many people do zombies I want to do something a little bit different um, which is another reason why I'm uploading Battlefield. There's so many people that are uploading Call of Duty and Minecraft and everything like that. I thought sticking a bit of a uh, Battlefield 3 would be a bit diverse, a bit of fun. Um, I'm not, it's not going to be a regular thing, I'll sort of maybe keep it to once a week. If I go back to uploading sort of a bit more regularly, I'll sort of do a bit, uh, maybe a Call of Duty, a bit of Minecraft, uh, Battlefield 3 and then something else every week. So sort of keep the bit of diversity going and keep it a bit more fun and fresh. But yes, um, other games that I could do, um, I say I could do Zombies if you would like to see that. I haven't played it in a long time so I'm probably a bit rusty on it, but it wouldn't be impossible for me to do. Um, and other than that, um, the only thing is I don't really want to do Zombies is for the fact that so many people already do it and I don't want to be sort of uh, just sort of uh, a sheep following the crowd, which I kind of have been with just uploading Call of Duty so far. Um, but other things I could do, um, I was always, I'd be quite keen to do, I don't know whether you guys would be interested in the slightest and watching it, it would be like an Assassin's Creed or a Halo sort of uh, uh, speed playthrough or a speed run playthrough of um, from the first game to the most recent one. So with uh, Assassin's Creed it would be 1, 2, 3 and then uh, no, 1, 2, Brotherhood and uh, what's the, Revelations, those four games, so it's like speed through play all the missions. Um, or a Halo speed playthrough, so of Halo 1, except I probably use the Anniversary Edition. Halo Anniversary, Halo 2, Halo 3, um, Halo um, ODSD, and then Halo Reach. Um, I don't know whether you guys would be at all interested in seeing them. Uh, the only reason I say you're doing those is for sort of preparation for the uh, release of the new ones that are coming out towards the end of this year, um, as I, they are some of my favourite two games out there. I love, the thing is, I love storylines in games, and Although I love multiplayer as well, the storyline in the game is so important to me. Um, but yeah, so uh, please let me know what you would like to see other than uh, Call of Duty, because I really can't provide you with any more online Call of Duty. I do apologise for that, but uh, 
devil draw and um, that's the sort of way that the world works i suppose but yes um another reason that was uh uploading a bit about fear other is um i kind of wanted to sort of explain where i came from i've never really done it particularly um my first ever online game was battlefield 2 back on the pc and I used to play this loads. I played an awful lot of infantry only. Very few, off, not very often when I started out did I play vehicles because I sucked in them. And if you've ever played the game, you'll know it is very difficult to sort of um, how we say get the sort of uh, hang of the vehicles when you first start out. They're quite sort of a challenge to sort of uh, learn to fly. Um, my KD did suffer immensely when I eventually decided that um, playing infantry only was a bit sort of dull. I decided to mix it up and pop over to. Uh, uh, a vehicle server and eventually when I learned how to fly the helicopters and jets I still suck on the jets but the helicopters I got very good in um, and I just I thought it was so much fun and the main reason I love that game so much was because the team aspect in it and I kind of feel although this game is great it took out so much of the sort of the main team aspect of Battlefield 2 because they sort of made the medics I don't think they made the medics as strong um, mainly because your health regenerates which I kind of although they've tried to bring it so it makes a faster pace I think they're trying to make it Call of Duty which it doesn't it shouldn't be it should be its own game and that was the thing I loved about being a medic in uh, Battlefield 2 you you were the sort of key bread and butter of the, of the team without you they died um, they had you had to have a medic in your squad to be able to survive where in this game you don't have to you just play a bit slower or something like that um, so yeah, I was a bit upset with that, and sort of all the vehicles, other than jets, you had to play as a team, like the tanks you had to be repaired, so you needed to run a two-man crew, one of you repairing while the other one was shooting, and sort of things like that, I mean that is still kept in this game, but um, things like um, the helicopters, you had to have a pilot to be able to fly you, or you didn't have to, there were some servers where you could seat switch, um, but a lot of the time you ran with a pilot and a gunner, and they were usually the stronger teams and the pilots were so much fun um, you had your hellfire rockets you could do your spins it was good fun but my bread and butter was the um, was the chopper gunner and you'd set you had your chain gun and then you had a tv or a player guided rocket which was so much fun you just guided this rocket at about 450 meter range i think originally i think it dropped down to about 400 but you could shoot down literally anything in one hit with it you could shoot down a jet you could shoot down a chopper anything one killer and it was brilliant possibly a little bit overpowered but i kind of feel in this game they went to the other extent and the choppers are so weak in this game but that's the way it sort of rolls um if you complain about something overpowered, they nerf the shit out of it in the next game. Anyway, guys, um, the reason I bring this up as well is I this was sort of my first online game, and it was my nostalgia game. This was my favourite. And I'm interested to know what your guys' favourites are. I know a lot of you are going to say Call of Duty 4, and a lot of you are going to say um, GoldenEye on the N64. They were both excellent games, and a lot of people played the hell out of them. Um, but yes... I would like to know what you guys, uh, w what your guys' game was. So if you could leave that in the comment, it'd be much appreciated. Anyway, guys, this commentary has come to a close. I hope you enjoyed this bit of difference, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and.